I'm Eric Matisic and I'm an industrial engineering major at NJIT. I first became interested in motorsports when I was nine and I got a Honda Z50 from my uncle. Um, it was pretty beat up when I first got it so I had to do a lot of the work on it myself and of course I was only nine years old so my parents helped me. Being interested in motorsports I've always wanted to go faster and faster. And to do that, you need to make the engine more efficient, as well as pump more air into the system. So when I first got my car, I thought, how can I do that? And the best way that that seemed was to put a turbocharger on it, which are basically small turbines that you attach to the exhaust of the car. That got me thinking, well, if I'm going to recapture the exhaust velocity to pump more air into the car, then I could also use that exhaust velocity to turn a generator which would charge a battery. I started thinking more and more about it and after talking to a couple of my friends at NJIT, we figured out that about 70% of the energy is lost through heat and exhaust velocity. I thought, okay, how can I take what we have now and use it to recapture that energy. And I look towards larger power plants which basically use a combined system where they use a steam turbine and an, an exhaust turbine. And those two turbines make the energy for the power grid. So what I was thinking is, well, how can I make this into a smaller system that'll fit into a car? I combined the idea of the turbocharger with these combined systems from power plants to make my system. What it does is it basically takes the exhaust velocity and heat and uses it to turn turbines which then charge batteries in a hybrid system. Most people are familiar with the Toyota Prius hybrid and what that does is that's a parallel hybrid that runs the internal combustion engine at the same time as the electric motor. My system wouldn't work very well with this. My system would be more in tune to a series hybrid. A series hybrid uses an internal combustion engine to charge the batteries, which then in turn turn the wheels. What's good about a series hybrid is it allows the internal combustion engine to stay at a constant RPM. And this constant RPM is good for the turbines in my system because turbines don't like to go up and down in acceleration. They like to stay at a nice constant rate and it'll allow it to be as efficient as possible. Some series hybrids that are coming out pretty soon, like the Chevy Volt, would really benefit from the system.